From the murky waters of the sportsman's paradise, stories emerge. Stories of the generations of people who have shared in the bounties of the land. Stories of communities that have persevered through natural disasters. Stories of the abundance of fish, wildlife, and adventures that create an ecosystem rich in diversity. And from the silted banks of the mighty Mississippi to the soggy marsh bottoms, from the tops of towering pine forests to the depths of the salty gulf, human and animal have shared this fortune for centuries. Enjoy these stories as told by outdoor journalists who travel across our state documenting the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. Welcome to Bayou Wild. We're at our broadcast studio on the bayou, actually on the river, Chifunk the River in Madisonville, Morton Seafood Restaurant. I always invite you to come by on Mondays when we tape. Martha, we got an exciting show today. Red snapper, probably the most regulated fish in history. Got a big change this year. Yeah, the season opens May 25th. It's the day before the Memorial Day holiday. A lot of folks will be out there fishing. There's a lot of details you need to know, though, about what you can catch, where you can catch it, and how long the season goes. So we're going to break that down for you. And so for the first time in a long time this year, we, we helped get an exempted fishing permit passed through uh, the federal system and is allowing the states uh, to govern their own red snapper. We're also going to take a look back at last season's turkey results, both here in the state of Louisiana. We've got a little bit of a treat for you. We're going to take you out to Kansas where those Rio Grande turkeys are out there. We've had several studies in the state over the years looking at nesting ecology on our hens and uh, we've tracked numerous, numerous hen nests with uh, GPS units. We knew exactly when they started initiating those nests, when they were started incubating those nests and Based on that information, we could take a guess at when they were bred. Also, we got a good cooking feature. Yeah. I'm the cook today. I'm the chef. We'll show you all of that coming up on today's Bayou Wild TV. Coming up, we'll take you to Tony Z's kitchen for some wild turkey and bacon. Closed captioning made possible by CETO.com. Become a member. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get delivery seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. The long anticipated snapper season is finally here. We're gonna let you know all the information, all the rules and regulations for this year's season in Louisiana. Well, you know, for many years, CCA has been working uh, with Congress as well as the legislature and the Department of uh, Wildlife and Fisheries here in Louisiana to try to get a better management system for red snapper. One, we know that the, the species is not being managed properly, but we also know that the fishermen aren't get, getting the days that they deserve. And so for the first time in a long time this year, we, we helped get an exempted fishing permit passed through uh, the federal system and is allowing the states 
uh, to govern their own red snapper. So what the nice part is we're going to be able to fish the way our, our constituents and everybody wants to. It's going to start Memorial Day weekend. You're going to have two fish per person. You're going to get to fish every day until Wildlife and Fisheries determines that the numbers are starting to run low and then they're going to shift the angler to every weekend. In the 2018 red snapper season, recreational anglers begin fishing May 25th through Labor Day as long as quota has not been met. They can fish seven days a week, federal waters and state waters, two red snapper per angler, 16 inches in minimum length or more. If you plan to catch red snapper on a charter and your charter service has a reef permit, you can fish June 1st through July 21st only in federal waters, seven days a week. If you book a charter that does not have a reef permit, you must stay within state waters, which is nine miles out or less. Right. If you plan to catch snapper in 2018, you need to go make sure you have a recreational offshore landing permit, which you get through the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries website. It's free to have, but you must have it in order to catch snapper. In 2018, there's been an addition to that recreational offshore landing permit. It's called an exempted fishing permit, and you must go through the website to sign up for that also. The first thing you need to do to sign up for your recreational offshore landing permit and your exempted fishing permit is to go to the Wildlife and Fisheries website, which is wlf.louisiana.gov. On the homepage, you'll see a button that's very big, you can't miss it. It says, get your free recreational offshore landing permit. You must click that and register yourself as an angler offshore. Once you get to the offshore landing permit page, you must create your account. If you've had a recreational offshore landing permit in past years, it's the same login this year. You just need to update it for the 2018 season. You'll see an area that says permit expired if you have not renewed, and then you want to click renew permit. The new addition to the 2018 season requires you to register for the Red Snapper exempted fishing permit. Once you've updated your information, the website will ask you if you'd like to record your online trips. It's optional to record your trips, but if you do so, you're really helping the Louisiana Creel get better information and more accurate data on red snapper reporting. If you don't have a desktop computer and you want to register through your phone, Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries has an online app through Google Play or iTunes. Once you've downloaded the app and registered, save an electronic copy on your mobile device or print a copy of your ROLP indicating your EFP registration and carry it on your person along with an applicable license while fishing under the EFP. Through the exempted fishing permit, uh, Wildlife and Fisheries is now in control of their quota for Louisiana anglers. It's going to allow people to have two fish per person, just like we have before, but you're going to start Memorial Day weekend and get to fish every day. As the summer progresses, they might shift you to every weekend once the numbers are getting close to our overall quota. Their goal is to be able to fish throughout the summer and at least have some quota left by the end of Labor Day. So be, enjoy it, have fun, but also make sure you give the biologists at the dock the information they're looking for. We want to make sure these numbers are, are right and that it's governed properly. And you'll notice if we get this and we do it properly, uh, well, it's an exempted fishing permit. That way we get to hopefully pass it off to Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries for the rest of the time so we can all enjoy the great resource we have here in Louisiana. If you're at the docks and you're cleaning your fish and you're approached by a La Creole biologist, they're really there to help you. They're not scrutinizing your catch, they just want better information on what's being caught in the Gulf. The ultimate goal of the offshore landing permit and the exempted fishing permit is to give us better information for the state of Louisiana to show the government why we should have control over who catches and how much we catch of red snapper. Well, look, I think red snapper is certainly the tip of the spear. As we move forward, um, uh, getting better science, improving the council process, and making sure there's better balance or things that we're working on, we've introduced a fish modernization bill that amends the Magnuson-Stevens Fish Act to provide better balance between rec and commercial fisheries. I think that goes to show you that this is a growing issue that people are recognizing is going to impact them despite the fact that they don't live in the Gulf Coast. Well, the beauties of Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Department is they have kind of set the bar on data collection. Um, for years and years we, you heard us talk about how poorly the data was managed from the federal system. Now. Uh, with wildlife and fisheries. They have biologists on almost every dock every day when we're fishing. And we have used that system to, to go to the federal government and say that we can do it better. Um, so now with those biologists, instead of waiting a year, two years for the federal groups to give us actually where we caught, we're doing it daily and weekly and know exactly where we're staying. That way we can catch as many as we're allowed uh, and as many as the stock can handle 
but we don't go over and we know it going into the following weekend. So participate with your biologists down on the docks. We need them and we need their data. And uh, if we do that, we're gonna have a lot of fun fishing days. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Find out if alternative treatment is the answer to your pet's health issues. Contact Dr. G at VetNaturally.com. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Welcome back to Bayou Wild. Martha, you know, the wild turkey, I consider it the toughest game animal in North America. And you've had a little bit of experience with it. And when you go out and you get a turkey, you've done some hunting. Thunder chickens. <laughs> well, we made a hunt to Kansas. We've been doing this for a regular trip every year now, and we're very successful. We filled seven out of eight tags. But there's also some turkey hunting going on back here in Louisiana, a little controversial. We're going to tell you a little bit about that and also take you back to Kansas where we made our Rio Grande turkey hunt. Turkey hunters are a rare breed. <laughs> Most turkey hunters fall in love with the sport from their very first hunt. One on one, hunter versus ant. Turkey hunters scout for hours, sometimes days. Always on the alert, attentive to every noise, waiting for that distant gobble. And as they speak back and forth with the bird, coaxing him into just a stone's throw away to set up the perfect shot, any slight movement, and the gobbler is gone. But a trending decline in Louisiana turkey numbers has led many hunters to travel to other states to feed their gobbling passion. Well, this morning I went where we talked about on the island, and I hunted one side. I heard three birds gobble. I stayed there till 10.30, and I started to walk away and just called, and uh, a hen came out, and uh, she just went back in. I hit my call about five minutes later, and this gobble was about 20 feet behind me. After years of monitoring the decline of turkey populations, Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries adjusted the 2018 turkey season to start at a later date. We've had several studies in the state over the years looking at nesting ecology on our hens and uh, we've tracked numerous, numerous hen nests with uh, GPS units. We knew exactly when they started initiating those nests, when they were started incubating those nests and based on that information we could take a guess at when they were bred and uh, when you compare, compare that back to our data, uh, our harvest data, we found that approximately 63 percent of our harvest occurred prior to peak of breeding in the state. So our goal there is to, to move our season back to where we have less disturbance on our birds during that important breeding cycle. Moving the hunting season back to April did not go over well with many hunters. 
but LDWF biologists believe that based on the most current harvest data, this later start was a step in the right direction for increasing turkey populations. Last year we, were, we harvested right around 2,024 birds that were reported. Uh, and when we compare that, what we got back this year was 1,989 birds harvested. And so uh, we're encouraged by that. Uh, it's only really a slight decrease of about 1.7% compared to, to what we had last year, even though our season structure was quite a bit different. And of course, we had a, 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 some pretty unusual weather patterns roll through the first couple weekends of this, of this 2018 season. question many hunters asked was, instead of changing the season, why not modify the bag limits? We looked at that along with some, some season length reductions, but, but understand that those two things uh, are typically going to just simply reduce harvest, and a lot of times that's off the, the back end, especially reducing the season. If you don't change the, the time at which it opens, you're just taking 10 or 15 percent of the harvest off by removing a week. We didn't feel like that would be as, as effective as moving the season dates. As far as the bag limit goes, a lot of folks will recall back in 2002, we went from a bag limit of three birds to, to a bag limit of two, trying to curtail our population declines, but they continued right on through that. So it had minimal impact to the overall population. And uh, honestly, I believe it's because we still had that early harvest occurring. You know, the majority of our birds are going to get killed the first or second week of the season. And that's, if that's typically prior to the peak of breeding, then it, it has to have a pretty significant impact on breeding. Not just the harvest, but think of the disturbance too. Not, you know, it's not just every turkey that gets harvested, you know, is, is one less that's out there. It's we turn 20,000 turkey hunters loose in the woods at the same time, right at this critical point in this bird's breeding cycle. So there's a lot of other disturbance that's associated with that, other than just the physical harvest of the birds. Weather plays a key role in turkey population growth. And the most crucial time for next year's turkeys is happening now in late spring and early summer. Western Louisiana is a great example of that. You know, we have not had a good hatch in the last two years in Western Louisiana. And if you go back, you remember we had a lot of early spring flooding over there, flash flood events, early part of May, the last several years. And, and to put it quite simply, those are, are a, a death warrant for young turkeys, basically. If the hen can't do a good enough job keeping those birds dry before they have feathers and flight capability, and they're either going to catch hypothermia or, or get found by a predator, typically. So uh, really a, cr a critical time in their life cycle. LDWF biologists believe that to maintain and grow the population of turkeys in Louisiana, it may take a little time to notice a change in trends but it is also important for hunters to have an active voice. You know, I do want to hear from our hunters and, and, and I do have those folks in mind when and we all do here at the department when we propose changes or, or want to change something up. We're always thinking of ways it impacts not only the resource but our sportsmen as well because those, those are the folks out there that drive what it is we're doing. And, uh, but, but in the end, you know, you really got to try to balance what it is we're proposing for the, for the benefit of the resources as well as our hunters. And I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that a lot of people, as time goes on, and uh, if, if, if we're able to be successful and show some positive trends in terms of population increases and harvest here, folks will, will, will be continually accepting of what we're doing here. And, and, and this would be a, a, you know, a sustainable means of maintaining our turkey populations is what I'm after. You know, that's our goal here. All right, now you have to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning to your bacon. You can use your favorite. Mine is Louisiana fish fry. Just got something a little special, gives it a different taste. And just put a good bit on the bacon, spread it around, kind of to your taste. If you like it spicy, plenty. If not so much, not so much seasoning. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana fish fry brand seafood boil. 
Why do the pros use Louisiana fish fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana fish fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. A lot of you saw my hunting trip to Kansas, which was very successful on wild turkey. If you were successful in bagging a gobbler this season and you need to try a little bit of a recipe with a twist, we've got Tony Z's wild turkey and bacon coming up right now. First step, you want to get about 12 ounces of some good lean bacon and you want to cut it in some small strips about a quarter inch or so. Alright, then we take our bacon and put it into a black iron pot. That's the way to cook game including this wild turkey. For some reason it just distributes the heat more evenly and holds it better and you usually get a lot better flavor when you're cooking with cast iron cookware. Alright now you have to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning to your bacon. You can use your favorite. Mine is Louisiana fish fry. Just got something a little special that gives it a different taste. And just put a good bit on the bacon, spread it around kind of to your taste. If you like it spicy plenty, if not so much, not so much seasoning. Now while we're waiting for that bacon season to get good and crispy, we're going to get our onions ready. It takes about an onion and a half. You can use a sweet onion or a good Vidalia onion. Chop it up, not real fine, just medium chop. Now, once we have our bacon good and crispy, we take it out, put it in a bowl, and we set it aside and get ready for our next step. While our onions are sauteing, we add our coconut oil and our coconut aminos to the turkey breast. Right, what we're doing here is kind of coating our turkey breast. Now this is about half of one whole turkey breast. Get a lot of breast meat on a wild turkey and it's probably the only thing that's usable in most cases. There's very little thigh meat and the drumsticks in the neck tend to be very tough. But you take your coconut oil and you just kind of glaze it and, and coat the turkey with it and also that coconut amino. One other thing about the turkey, uh, what you want to do is cube it into, you know, maybe an inch blocks, but you also want to try to remove as much as that silver skin. It's kind of that thin membrane on the outside and any tendons that adds a little bit of toughness. I also like to take a meat mallet, a wooden mallet, and hammer it down also breaks down some of the toughness in wild turkey. Now after we've got the coconut oil and the amino mixed with the turkey, time for a little bit more seasoning. Again, depends on your taste. If you like a lot of spice, put a lot of season. If not, not so much. And 
our last step, after about 15 or 20 minutes of simmering on the stove, we're gonna take out our bacon and wild turkey, and put it on our main dish. And here's our finished Tony Z's wild turkey and bacon recipe. Also gonna put some green beans that have been simmered and little scallions that were cooked with the coconut oil and some delicious olive bread. We're ready to go. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. If you hunt or fish, you really need to check out 20echo.com. It's an app that you can take on the water or on the hunt. It logs all the information. It's got the date, the GPS location, tons of information to log your catch or kill. It's a great thing to have. Check it out at 20echo.com and you'll see it more on Bayou Wild TV. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. Coming up on next week's edition of Bayou Wild, we take you on an epic adventure, a true battle, a five-hour fight, a huge fish from the Gulf, a swordfish. We'll show you that fight coming up. Guys, we are in a serious cat and mouse game here. That was probably even a battle of wit. Ryan, he's hanging in there. The fish is now at 160 foot depth. Um, we're a little over four hours. The sun has set. No telling when we'll see a bed. But, like I said, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen out here. And you never know when, you never know how. But today, today was Ryan's day. We've got Rose on the end of the line. We'll keep you all updated when Rose comes aboard. Gig him. That's a pretty fish. Woo! Woo! Reeling one fish for five hours, never crossed my mind. It's just like reeling up a suburban. Well, we're also going to make a trip back to White Oak Plantation, one of your favorite places, to get some good cooking tips from our friend, Chef John Fultz. Don't forget, if you can't wait to watch Bayou Wild, pick us up on radio Saturday mornings beginning at 5 a.m. on the Don Dubuque Network. And also check us out on social media. We have a Facebook page, Bayou Wild TV, Instagram, Bayou Wild TV, and of course, all our full-length episodes and extras on YouTube. And if you want to come meet us in person and have lunch with us, Come here to Morton Seafood Restaurant in Madisonville on the banks of the Defuncta River. We'll be back the Monday of Memorial Day weekend. We'll see you then.